everyone, so it is time for another exciting announcement. I have been working on this for, oh my gosh, you guys don't even understand how long. <laughs> and I'm finally ready to announce it to you guys. So as some of you know, if you watch my vlog channel, I have been working on a new logo for my company, XO Beauty. So that's the only part I told you. I did not tell you that I was also redesigning every single brush and improving the quality and changing the look and all of it. So it was a really big job and I'm so, so happy to show you guys the final product. I am in love with every single brush that I've made here. So today I'm going to talk a little bit about my brushes. I'm not going to go on about them for too long because I know some of you don't really care. But I am just incredibly proud of them and I know that some of you guys will be interested to see how they all look and everything. So I'm going to show you each one. And I'm also going to tell you a little bit about what every single brush can be used for as well. So no matter who you are and no matter what brush set you buy, you will know a little bit about what each brush will do because a lot of brands have very similar shaped brushes for similar kind of purposes. So hopefully this video will help everyone and then at the end just because it's been so highly requested on my channel since forever and I don't think I've ever done it because I'm clearly a terrible person <laughs> I'm going to show you guys how to wash your brushes and no matter what brush set you have no matter what brush brand you have you will be able to use my technique it's not my technique it's a pretty mainstream technique but yeah I'm going to teach you how to wash your brushes as well I'm just going to talk about my brushes really really quickly because if you couldn't tell I'm really proud of them so all of my brushes are now made in Italy here's a little close-up of how the brush handles look. My new logo, which I did design all by myself, I'm really proud of it. I wanted something simple but classy. The handle is almost like a rubbery feel. It's like a demi-matte kind of look. It's really classy looking. I really wanted them to look luxurious because the quality is luxurious. These brushes are like the softest things I've ever felt in my life. Obviously, I loved my previous brushes, but these ones are just like up and beyond, out and above. Amazing, luxurious, feel amazing, just Oh, so excited. Then you have the little silver barrel here and then each brush is different. There is a mixture of natural hair brushes and synthetic brushes depending what your personal preferences are or of course for the use of the brush because both different um, hair fibers have different uses. Also I have a new brush wrap and the logo on the front. Holy shit it looks so good. Sorry for swearing. We've kind of like stamped it in there and then there's like a velcro closure which is very strong and then a little like clear window as well. So that comes with a 12 piece set or you can buy the wrap separate. I have a 12 piece set, a 9 piece set, two different four piece sets so like a four piece eye and a four piece face and then most of the brushes you can buy singly. I think there's like two or three that you can't buy as singles off the top of my head. Also the writing's like kind of raised like I'm just obsessed like I just sit here and like run my fingers over like they just feel amazing. I'm so happy and I hope you guys love them as much as I do. They are out today on the website. They're already up so I'll link you everything down below if you are interested in having a look. Please remember all prices are in New Zealand dollars because I am a New Zealand company. So in your local currency, like we do ship everywhere in the world, we ship worldwide. But if in your local currency it's more, a more expensive kind of price, like I'm so sorry I'm not in control of the exchange rate obviously, like I can't control how much it's going to cost in other countries. New Zealand is like where I live, it's where my company is and that's where we sell a lot of our products. The single brushes range from about $14 to $32. So without further ado, I'm going to show you a close up of every single brush and then I will show you how I clean them. So just in advance, thank you so much for watching, thank you so much for your support. EXO Beauty has grown incredibly over the last couple of years. Thank you so much for trying out my products and enjoying them and loving them as much as I do. I'm so proud and I'm even prouder of this new range. Like, they're just out of this world. I wanted to do the very best I could do. There's always room to improve, in my opinion. Little soppy thank you. There are so many exciting things happening in my life right now and I'm just so, so honoured and just so, I'm so thankful that you guys support me and believe in me. So thank you. I'm so excited. <laughs> So this first kind of brush is one of the most popular foundation brushes out there. It's just a flat top face brush and this is perfect, as I said, for foundation. Um, I just like to pack on my foundation with this. It gives a really good coverage and flawless kind of finish. Next is a round top brush and this again can be used for your foundation. You can even use this for mineral foundations like powder foundations, cream foundations. It's just got a dome tip as you can see. You can even use this for cream blush, cream bronzer. There are so many different uses for this. 
This Neat Style brush is tapered. It's kind of got like a V-shaped end to it. Here it is compared to the round top one, so you can see the difference. This one here I really like for kind of a lighter coverage foundation if you don't like a really heavy look, but it still looks really airbrushed and flawless. Or you can use it for concealer, cream contouring. It's a really good one for cream contouring, cream highlighting, blush again, especially if you've got a smaller face. It's a really nice one, and I made sure it's still really nice and fluffy and easy to blend with as well. The next Next brush is an angled face brush. Um, this one again, perfect for foundation. It's a really nice shape to get around all of those areas around your face like the nose and under the eyes and everything. Nice and dense, super flawless. You can also use this for concealer, um, bronzer, you know, you name it. So as well as buying them as singles, you can actually buy them as a four piece set on exobeautyshop.com um, and you can save a little bit of money if you do want the whole collection. So that's how they all look together. Then moving on, the next brush I have here is the flat eye brush. It's basically an eye version of the flat face brush. So it's a really small one, perfect for eye primers, concealers. It really packs on the coverage. Um, you can even use it for eyeshadow if you like. I've used it for eyeshadow before. It's a really nice soft one and it's easy to blend at the same time so you can use it to apply and blend the product. Next is a round eye brush and this is a round top eye brush. You can use this to apply concealer, eye primer, cream eyeshadows, powder eyeshadows. You can even use it to blend out your eyeshadows. It's also a really good one to blend out your cream contouring and cream highlighting if you want a really nice precise blend. I really like it as an eyeshadow brush. I like to buff like my eyeshadow all over the crease and on the lid with this. It's nice and soft and dense. Next is a tapered eye brush. Again, super versatile with powder or cream products. Very good to get in that inner corner and under the eye with concealer. My personal favorite is to use it for my inner corner and brow bone to highlight using like a shimmery eyeshadow or whatever. Here's a little side by side of the tapered eye and the round eye brush. You can see the tapered is a little bit smaller and the round one is a little bit fluffier, so really good for blending. And then next is the angled eye brush again. Perfect for the face, concealer, uh, eyes, whatever you like. I've seen people use these brushes for cream contouring a lot. I really like them for concealer. Again, totally up to you. There's so many different ways you can use this brush. And just like the four face brushes, you can buy these in a four piece eye set as well and save some money. So that's how they all look together. You can see they vary a little bit in size and fluffiness and everything depending on their purpose. So I hope that helped. Moving on, now we're looking at the powder brush. This is a luxurious, large, fluffy powder brush. You can see how nice and dense and fluffy and soft that looks. This is perfect for applying powder all over your face. It's even good for applying bronzer to your skin and chest and neck and everything. And I like to use it just over my face to blend all of my face products out once I've finished doing my makeup. Next is the concealer brush. And as you would think, you can use this for concealer around your face and under your eyes. It's nice and tapered and thin and very flexible. I'm just gonna show you here. You can see how flexible it is, so it's really good and it really picks on that coverage. You can also use this for cream contour and cream highlight as well. Next up is another favorite of mine, the Shimmer Fan Brush. This is for highlighting specifically, but you can also use it to dust away fallout if you do lots of nice fun eyeshadow looks. You can see it's really nice and soft and it has the perfect density um, because if you use something too dense, you can actually apply way too much highlight. This is designed especially for highlighter. It applies the perfect amount every single time and it really just hits those high points on your cheekbones. Next up is the Lip Detail Brush. And this one is really, really good to get a nice sharp lip line. You can see it's quite tapered and really, really fine at the very tip. And it's super, super like, I don't know how to say, like quite flexible and quite stiff while still being very soft. So it gives you the sharpest line possible. Next is the eyeliner brush, and this is perfect for, you guessed it, eyeliner. So if you have a cream or gel eyeliner, this is a really nice one. It's nice and soft and very flexible, so it's really nice around the eye area, nice and soft and not irritating at all. It's also nice and thin as well, so you can have a thin line or build it up to a thick line, and that's it compared to the lip brush. Next up is another favorite. This is the pencil brush, and this is a nice little short, very dense, but still nice and soft, so again, it won't irritate the eye area. Um, this is a really good brush just to smudge out your eyeliner if you want a smoky look or to apply eyeshadow to the outer V, inner corner, lower lash line, any areas that are quite small. 
Next up is the good old eyeshadow brush. Perfect for packing on any eyeshadow onto your eyelid, whether it be um, a pigment or a pressed eyeshadow, and you can use it wet or dry, whatever suits you. This looks very similar to the concealer brush. It's a little bit smaller though, but it's nice and dense, but still really, really soft. And again, quite flexible, so you can really press the color onto your lid. Next up is another eyeshadow brush. This is the angled shadow brush this time. So as you can see, it's got an angled shape and this one is a little bit fluffier than the eyeshadow brush. Again, it's really good just to press eyeshadows onto the lid. It's good for pigments and you can use this on the brow bone and inner corner as well. Here is the eyeshadow next to the angled shadow. And then next up we have the blender brush. This is a really nice soft fluffy blender brush. Perfect for diffusing out eyeshadows and just softening any edges. You can also apply a nice soft wash of color into the crease using this brush. It's very fluffy and just perfect as I said just to diffuse those harsh lines. Next up is one of my personal favorites again, the eyebrow groomer brush. It's double ended so you get this really thin precise eyebrow brush end. You can also use this for eyeliner if you want. Really easy to create a wing with this. And then on the other end you get a spoolie. But this just is so perfect. It's the perfect density and stiffness to get a really precise line but it still has that soft factor so it doesn't like scratch your eyeballs or anything. It's still very soft as you can see here. Next up is the petal brush that I wish all petal brushes were. Petal brushes are usually quite average, like let's be honest, no one really uses them anymore. This one I made a little bit fluffier and a little bit thicker and then it's double ended with a little concealer brush on the other end. This concealer brush is smaller than the single um, concealer brush. So this is just so fluffy as you can see, it's so soft, perfect for blending out foundation, primer, moisturizer, um, concealer, whatever you like. And then you can flip it around and use the smaller end to blend out, again, concealer, contour, highlight, whatever you like. It's very multi-purpose. That flat shape also makes it perfect to get maximum coverage in some areas of the face if you need it anywhere in particular. Next is another favorite. Oh my gosh, this one is like one of my holy grails. This is the bronzer brush, but I also use it for contouring, highlighting, and setting my under eye area. It's the perfect size, perfect shape. Um, it's super soft and fluffy. As you can see, it packs on the perfect amount of product, but it's still fluffy enough to blend out the product as you go, so you don't have to use like a million different brushes. It's amazing. Next up is the Dense Fiber Brush. Some people love this for foundation. I use it for powder sometimes, like to set my foundation. It creates a really soft airbrush finish. Um, I also like it to put on blush, like powder blush. It looks so good. Cream blush. It's super soft. It basically feels like kittens. It's so good. Again, this can be used with both cream or liquid products, powder products. It's very, very versatile. And that's all of them. Some of the brushes are exclusive to set, so if you can't find them as singles, they will be in a set. Others obviously are available as singles. And next I'm going to show you the little brush wrap which comes with the 12 piece but you can also buy it separately if you are interested. This one is a really nice sleek design. It has a bunch of pockets. Some of the pockets actually fit more than one brush as you'll see. Um, it has a nice little clear window so you can see your brushes and it also means that you know if you've got any makeup on your brush you can kind of shut it before you roll it up and it'll just help to protect the brush wrap from getting too dirty. Um, it's got a nice velcro closure and yeah that's that one. Moving on to cleaning my brushes. So first I'm going to show you how I spot clean my brushes um, and you know disinfect them and get all the color off. Um, this is the Cinema Secrets brush cleaner and it dries really really fast. It's really good stuff. You only need a little bit so I use a little tray like this and then I have a really old towel. This one I use all the time to clean my brushes so it's like permanently stained. And here are some dirty brushes we're going to use to you know try it out and show you how it works. So you just dip it in and with any brush you never want to be too rough with it. You never want to get any product into that barrel either. So you dip in the very tip and then just gently wipe it off. It kind of looks like I'm being rough but I promise I'm not. It's just how it kind of ends up looking. So you can see how fast that was. Um, you just want to dip in the very tip again and then just wipe it off on a towel or a paper towel or whatever you want to use. It's literally that easy. But the most important part is not getting any brush cleaner or water water inside that silver part whatsoever. Um, I'm just double cleaning this one here. If you need to just, you know, double clean it, clean it until it's clean. But this part here, do not get moisture or water or anything like that up there because that's where the glue is that holds the brushes together. And if you get water in there, you're going to damage your brushes permanently. So please just be very careful. Since this is a dual ended brush, we're going to lie it flat to dry so that no moisture creeps up into that barrel. So again, just tipping in the very, very tip 
and then swirling that off until it's nice and clean and making sure you dry them really really well you don't want to leave any of the brush cleaner like on the bristles because it can kind of dry quite um, crisp and clumpy so you want to make sure you get as much off as possible now when it comes to little liner brushes like this I like to dip in the tip and then just repeatedly do little lines I don't want to like swirl it around in circles because I don't want to damage any of the bristles I want to make sure that all the bristles are nice and safely clean you know and straight not all ruffled up now this technique is going to work with no matter what makeup brushes you own and no matter what brushes you own do not get moisture or water in the barrel in the silver bit because no matter what brushes they are they will probably fall apart another helpful tip to add when you let them air dry don't leave them directly in the sun and don't leave them in a damp room either because moisture in the air can obviously you know damage the glue as well as heat heat can melt the glue I like to elevate the handle a little bit just to help the drying process and make sure none of that moisture creeps up in there and also with big brushes like that you can kind of shape them with your fingers little brushes as well see how this one's a little bit frayed you can kind of just shape it with your finger and that'll help it stay in shape once it dries I always like to let my brushes air dry don't ever use a hairdryer or anything like that on them because it can damage them. Moving on to deep cleaning, which is basically cleaning them with like a shampoo. Um, I do this not very often to be honest, but you should be doing it at least once or twice a week. So this is a dirty foundation brush as you can see. I like to get warm water, not too hot, just in case it does get in that barrel. And then holding my brush tilting downward, I just wet the tips. And then taking your brush shampoo, I'll list some alternatives you may have lying around the house down below in the down bar. You basically want to take that in your hand, again holding the brush downward, just swirl that in your hand until the brush kind of, you know, gets clean. You can see all the dirty water dripping downward and then rinse them thoroughly at the same way as you wet them just holding them downward then I like to very gently just squeeze the water out of the brush very gently do not pull the bristles do not like tug on them don't do anything crazy just be very gentle treat them like your babies they're an investment they're expensive you want to look after them if your brush isn't clean yet just give them another shampoo before you rinse them um, and then I like to take a towel and just dry off the handle and shape the bristles again so they dry nice and even just in case you did get a couple of flyaway hairs sticking out at any time again I like to elevate them a little tiny tiny a bit you don't need much and then again same thing you just want to repeat that process no matter what kind of brush it is face eye you know it should all just work the exact same just make sure you never get that water up that silver barrel that is the key to life you guys I've just given you the secret to life so once again just to go over the most important points <gasps> shock horror don't get moisture inside the barrel use warm water you don't want to use anything too hot let them dry in a really nice dry atmosphere don't put them in direct sunlight don't leave them lying around in your shower room where the hot steam gets inside them don't put them outside just leave them in a nice safe area away from dogs as well keep them away from dogs toddlers children and again just leave them lying flat or very very slightly elevated not too elevated because you don't want to squash the bristles just very slightly like I have here usually you just have to wait kind of overnight depending on the size of the brush sometimes the big fluffy brushes take another extra few hours than the smaller ones and then you might notice they are very like sleek I guess to make them nice and fluffy again you just kind of run them around your hand and they will look brand new look how great that looks make sure all of the brushes are completely dry before you store them standing upright in like a little brush holder or anything of course again just because the moisture can creep down into the barrel you might not notice immediate damage to your brushes but it will over time definitely make a big difference so just make sure each time and it's not too hard like once you get the hang of it it's quite easy to keep them nice and safe and you'll get a nice long amount of time worth of brush usage <laughs> that's me saying goodbye awkwardly i hope you guys enjoyed this video bye hey everyone so today's video is a super glam makeover featuring hair makeup and i even showed you my skincare to prep before i applied my makeup to make it go on uber flawless plus it makes you feel like a goddess it makes you feel so pampered and amazing <laughs> treating yourself to an extra couple of steps before you apply your makeup is going to make the world of a difference so i'm going to show you a couple of